Hi friends, this is Katrina Crouch of Blush Designs and today I am going to show you how to make beautiful wax seals using a glue gun and also give you some tips and tricks along the way. Alright, let's get started. Obviously first you're going to need your seal. So this is one from waxseals.com or Artisire. I'll have them linked below. I also picked up some of their uh, glue gun wax. So this is in antique gold, obviously. Here's champagne, another one of my favorites. And I have some rose gold. I think we will actually be using rose gold today for our little demo or white. I haven't quite decided. Um, but you'll need this specific kind of sealing wax. The kind that comes in like a square. More like this guy. Um, this won't work. You'll need to use a spoon with this, which we'll video later. Um, or the kind with a wick doesn't really work. That is just a different style, but this I find to be the easiest and what I recommend to all of my brides who are hoping to use wax seals for their big day. You'll need a glue gun. I already have some white wax in that guy. A baggie of ice, and then there's a little bit of water in there. A towel, doesn't really matter what color, preferably clean, obviously. And then of course, your envelopes. All right, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put the wax inside of your gun and you're going to set that too low. So if it's too high, your wax will get really bubbly and it looks very funny. Um, and it will just like pour out of the end here and that's just not what you're going for. So have it set to low. This is a standard size glue gun, not like one of those mini ones. Um, and it fits these sticks perfectly, which is awesome. So I'm going to let that heat up. And then what you're all going to do next is you're going to take your seal with your print on it and you're going to set it on top of your ice cubes. So this will cool it down so that it will stamp faster, which is perfect if you're doing a whole suite. Another thing that I like to do is I like to mark the top of my wax seal so that I know where the top is. Some of them don't matter, like if it's a wreath, um, but this one obviously does. It would look really funny if she was upside down on your invitation suite. So I just have in quick pencil line marked right there um, where the top of my invitation is, so or where the top of my seal is, so that when I am going to lay it down, I just line that up with the top, and you'll get her straight up every single time. All right, for the sake of the demo today, we're going to be using an A2 size um, envelope, which is just a response envelope, so it's going to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to give it a quick lick right here and seal it. Okay, so with our desire wax seals and a one inch seal, which is what I'm using today, I find that about one and a half pumps is just about perfect. Sometimes a full two is needed. I might do a little bit extra. That first one's kind of gimpy. There we go. Then you're going to take your seal, and the reason we have this little rag here is we can just Blot that off so it's not too wet. Make sure I'm facing the top and you just set that down. Now this should set pretty quickly because we cooled it off and boop, there you go. You have your beautiful seal.